she got her wish! This is a dream come true for her! Let's see how many times Lynette, who struck him with diabetes, who's named Lynette because she continues to lie, how many times has she actually lied to the judge, Craig DeThomasis? You haven't seen her entire deposition yet. And in the deposition, she actually tells the lawyer, well, I've watched maybe three, maybe four of their videos. I don't watch them. I've never watched them. I've seen maybe one or two of this type and a few of the others, and yet she knew enough to stalk us to Otter Creek. And then she buys property across the street from us on purpose. And then she's texting the residents, who she claims 98% love her, but I'm seriously doubting that. And right here in highlighted yellow, it says, I was just watching one of Jeremy's videos. Oh my gosh, they are blessed. As a matter of fact, she thinks we're so blessed, she wants to try and use our fan base for money and income. I was just watching Jeremy's last video. Oh my gosh, they are blessed. The liquor, yeah, it does say liquor, and it doesn't doesn't mean uh, fermented. It means lick. Like that, she would know something about that. Uh, they bought had a safe with fifteen thousand dollars cash, also coins and tool chests. Oh man, best one they bought yet. Wait, hold a second. Does she literally say best one they bought yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a woman who pathologically lies and says that she's not watching anything. She's only seen three or four. And now she's claiming this is the best one we bought yet. Now I know which one she's talking about. The one we've got in Pennsylvania, which it was one of the best ones we've ever bought. The issue that the judge is going to have is that she continually says she hasn't watched, she doesn't watch, but she continually lies. Now you understand this makes her a witness that has absolutely no credibility at all. At all! Okay, and then she goes on to say, my grandson, oh here we go, here we, here we go with the rug dealers again. My grandson is being tempted to stay in ruggy Iowa. No work, no life, just, um, well, rinking and drugs, as you can see right above the highlighted area. Her grandson, oh, this is going to get interesting here, trust me. He had a free college here, and Jeremy could have taught high how to be very well off and fun employed. All right, if you can figure out her English language, you're doing way better than I am. I think she meant to say him. Oh, Jeremy could have taught him how to be very well off and fun employed. My heart's sad because I'm lonely and I'm so tired of this abuse. Just so tired. All right, let's pause right there. Okay, first of all, she's attempted and she has stated publicly that I was going to hire her grandson, which was never, ever, ever communicated whatsoever. Whatever goes in this woman's mind, I have no idea at all. But apparently she stated that I was hiring her grandson, saving him from ruggy Iowa, and all of the uh, rinking that goes on there, and all of the abuse that goes on there, that she's so tired of, even though she's going to bring him here to Otter Creek, where she's so lonely, she's so tired of the roos, uh, the abuse, and, and all the things that are happening with John and the locals and the whole deal. Remember, George and I at this point have said nothing. We have patiently, patiently have just watched this all unfold. You have to understand, this is all happening. You saw it on the first video and you're like, holy crap! And you think it was immediate. It was not immediate. This was going on and on and on and on and on before we stepped up and went, not anymore. And we typically are extremely patient, but we have problems with individuals that pathologically lie. They steal. And theft can be using your name when you're told not to and not allowed. Or theft can be stealing time and money as Rosemary did from Town Hall. And Mary Mary did taking Sam's car and making per personal purchases. And charging the time for travel to Sam's Club, to Gainesville. Two hours there and back. Not to mention the time spending actually shopping as well. There's a tremendous amount of theft, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, until it gets to a point, we're like, all right, enough is enough. Too patient? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Probably been way too patient with a ton of people. But patience is a virtue. And then the funny thing is, is when it's finally exposed, then they want to cry, they're the victim. They're the victim. Okay, my heart's sad because I'm lonely and I'm tired of this abuse. Just so tired. Then maybe you should have ran to the courthouse and got an injunction on John. December. Here we have all kinds of more uggs, ugh. Do you think she, she lurches out at the, the camera? Ugh, with that turtleneck. All right. Tomorrow, we're using credit to go by the doors and windows so we can close in the house. Still not a house. Uh, we're trying to get a hold of Sarah to see if her husband's crew will build the inside and for how much. Keep in mind, later she stated that once her friend gets out of prison, they're going to do it. Oh, do you think maybe he was a rug dealer as well? That'd be my guess. Um, and then she, literally, she says, Ugh. 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 And then goes on to say, I so need to do a fundraiser, but I have no followers. I wonder if Jeremy and George would help me out by sharing with their followers. Right there, highlighted. Okay, now let's see the hypocrisy in this. Uh, she's claiming in court document after court document after court document, Jeremy's making money. Jeremy's making money from all this. Jeremy's making money from his followers. No, Jeremy does not make money from all of this. Jeremy doesn't want to be a part of all of this. Jeremy came here to live and to be in peace and quiet and to not be stalked. Literally to hide from people. Jeremy doesn't want to put tens of thousands, now hundreds of thousands, into legal fees for individuals that are doing the wrong things to correct the issues when people should just do the right thing in the beginning. Jeremy makes money off of Jeremy. And now you're going, why is Jeremy speaking in the third person? Well, she called me Jeremy. So, the only way I make money, I don't make money off of anybody else except myself. I am my brand. What the hails is Jeremy Hale's brand. I am the marketing. I make money off of what I do and frankly, what I think and what I know. This is what makes me money. A lot of people go to work and they make money with this. And that's a great thing to make money with. I did that a lot when I was younger, but my body hurts now. And now I don't make so much money with this, even though George and I are constantly loading and unloading and moving stuff from storage units. I make money with this. This is what makes my money. Not followers, not fans, not anything. Especially I, fans that stalked you to Otter Creek. Oh, we did. That's right. The, the, that follower that stalked us to Otter Creek to try and get money. I wonder if Jeremy and George would help me by sharing us with their followers. She got her wish. This is a dream come true for her. She's promoted all over the world now. Let's keep in mind as she's whining and crying to the court. Okay, this is exactly what she wanted. She wanted to be shared with the followers. And up to this point, she has publicly posted all over that she's done so many fundraisers and they all failed and nobody, nobody gives any money to the point she literally has posted, what's wrong with you people? Do you think turtles and tortoises are ugly? How childish, mm -hmm. completely and totally childish. So now she actually gets what she wants and she has received more money in Donations, literally money in donations, seven thousand dollars for an individual, for a for a retainer, for a lawyer. Um, she's never seen any kind of money given that to her like that before. Gifts in kind. A hemorrhoid man sent cameras <laughs> that they couldn't even figure out how to set up or use uh, with internet that apparently always goes out. But you know that internet comes from my tower, and you know who's you know, who's in control of the tower. So. Amazon wish list, don't forget that. Oh, the Amazon wish list and sending people to our dollar sale to get stuff for her and probably Christmas in the creek and, and it goes on and on and on. She's literally received more than she has ever gotten in her life combined up to this point. Well, in one of her posts, she said in the last 10 years that they fundraised, they've only got $1,000, if you want to believe well, that. If, if, you, if you can believe that, that's very true. So I wonder if Jeremy and George would help me out by sharing us with their followers. Uh, how do you think this is going to go over in court with the judge? A judge, she literally asked for this. She asked to be shared with Jeremy and George's followers. She, she wondered. She dreamt. She pleaded. I wonder if Jeremy and George would help me by sharing us with their followers. 
That's one of three wishes. I don't know what the other two are going to be. Oh, wait, that's right. The make-a-wish to remove John from the property. That's wish number two. And uh, wish number three, wish number three. Well, we'll get to that. It's in here. I so want this to work. They need it so badly. And I want the child to have something to depend on. Okay, this was actually brought up in court by Judge DeThomas's, where Lynette goes... I want my child not to be homeless. I want this to be her beautiful legacy. And Judge Thomas says, goes, you just literally said there's no money and it makes no money and it's a nonprofit. What's there to leave the child? That's the judge. That was paraphrasing that going back to Lynette, which we are in the process right now trying to get permission from the judge because he's illegally holding us back from sharing hearing number three and hearing number four. He can't hold back that public information. And while we are being respectful and actually not sharing it, we are trying to get him to say, yep, I'm wrong, and go ahead and share it. We're hoping today is that day. There's a conversation happening today in regards to that. All right, uh, I have the idea. I just need help getting it out there, like a raffle kind of or something. By the way, raffles are illegal. Uh, if the Gaming Commission hasn't approved it, you can't do it like a raffle or something. Auction maybe work, and one lucky person will get the gold and diamond pendant. Is this like the uh, Willy Wonka golden ticket? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, it's the gold and diamond pendant. Is it of a turtle? Because if it is, I don't want it. I... No, Dang. leave that alone. Leave You're keeping that alone. it? I don't I, want any turtles. Until someone send us a mole to replace it. With I it hate stays. turtles. I hate turtles. You're just joking. I love moles. I love moles. We love all of God's I, creations. But I love moles the most. Okay. Uh, like a raffle or kind of something. Auction. One lucky person will get the golden diamond pendant. One bracelet from Pandora. Someone will get sterling silver. I have these gemstones. We're looked at by the jewelry store uptown. They're real. And if you read the bottom highlighted there, right there, if they helped me, I could probably do very, very well and pay for part of the house and finish the tortoise pens. Okay, so this is an individual that has claimed, number one, she didn't stalk us here, which we already know, that's a complete and total lie. The property wasn't even for sale before we got here. Put our offer in on the property in 2020. We actually get the property in 2021. And that was in January, was it February? We January. actually, January, we got on the actual property. And then they stalk us here because they're watching all of our videos. They know where Otter Creek is. We're showing the dump. We're showing the rug dealings going on over there up by the uh, the access road. To we the... showed the campground we lived in for two and a half months. They, they knew it all. They knew it all. And they stalked us here on purpose. Um, she says she was watching that property from 2018 on, because this was her dream, to be closer to family and friends. Yet you see constantly in her text messages, I'm so lonely. You constantly see, he's abuser. He's doing this to me and that to me, and I'm being taken and I'm a victim of the whole town. But she was here for the safety of the child. Yeah, makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, no home to live in, illegally living in a shed and illegally have a camper on the property. Her initial, her initial idea was to live in a tent with the child, who apparently has a life-threatening you know, disorder. That was you, part you, you of her up. GoFundMe. That was part of a GoFundMe, and it's still up. And we have all screenshots. Regardless of whether she takes it down, she loves to dirty delete stuff and then say she never did it. And you understand we have thousands and thousands and thousands of screenshots and or she'll say on. someone hacked into her account and Oh yeah, she's actually she's actually posted that I hacked into her accounts. That she's actually posted that. Um, well it's, it's it's all that control I have from the antenna for, for for the cell tower. So then she stalks us here and then she wants to use our 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 following and our and our base. Um, but she's crying to the judge literally crying to the judge. I didn't follow him here. I want this to end. We'll do anything. We'll do it. Except shut up. Do anything except shut up. Literally. Except shut up. Now, remember, Judge 
to Thomas says, because we know you're watching, and yeah, we'll give you an autograph afterwards. You can get some selfies and be fine. Um, George may even, you know, if you rip your shirt off, whip, rip the robe off, George may even sign your chest. We'll see what happens. Uh, she literally says, if they would help me, if they would just help me, I know I could pay this all off. I know I could make it work. There's no doubt whatsoever. She stalked us here. And she stalked us here for money. And she stalked us here for promotion. Absolutely. 100%. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. If anybody has any doubt whatsoever, can I just say that you're a fool? Another text. January 4th. And as we've been sharing this text with you, understand this is just one resident of Otter Creek. There are multiple residents that are going to be giving testimony or witness against Lynette and messages that she sent them in court. You'll be able to see all of that once we release that court hearing, if the judge doesn't do anything else illegal. So here's another one, January 4th, you can see it up top. And it says, I wish I could ask Jeremy if they could help me do a raffle or something. Uh, crap, they have such a, literally, she says crap. Crap, they have such a large, uh, they have such a large fan base. It could, it would get out to, to go so, oh my goodness. I wish she knew English. Let me try and decipher. Or you learn how to read crazy. Okay, let me see if you I can You have to be crazy. bilingual and crazy. No, you have to be bipolar to read this stuff. That too. Crap. They have such a large fan base. It would get out go so many people. I have thought it and it could work, but I don't know how to get it out to a lot of people. Oh, I, I know this one. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. All right. So again, we see she's plotting and she's planning with the local resident. I need money and I need Jeremy and I need his fan base and I need to get money from his fan base, which she has now done because there are those who now say, well, they are haters of what the hails and they are fans of Lynette. And you understand that your greatest fan, literally your greatest fan are the haters. These individuals literally watch every second and every and they try and dissect every word that we say in a video. And to that, we say, thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, if, you're, <laughs> if you're that big of a fan, why not just call yourself a fan? I mean, you literally are. All you're doing is helping promote what the hails even further and greater and better. So you see clearly that her whole goal in coming to Otter Creek was to utilize Jeremy and George, what the hails, the fan base. But she's crying like crazy. He's making money off of me. There is absolutely no money to be made off of Lynette. Nothing. There is nothing. She has no money. How are you going to make money off of somebody who has no money? Okay. The only way I make money, and I'll emphasize this again, is off of me. It's off of this. The money that I generate is from me. Is it a lot? No, I make zero. I literally make zero. In the same text, she says she needed building materials. She needed $15,000. She only has $7,000 left, okay? So far, I need to raise like $8,000. So she wanted $15,000, needed to raise $8,000. <laughs> and somebody gave her $7,000 for a retainer on a lawyer that they will never, ever, ever see again. Ever. This woman is going to have more legal expenses than she could ever imagine. And at the end of it, she's going to have to restitution, sanctions from Ohio, from Florida. There is no end in sight what she's going to owe. And to also understand, this woman and this man, their pattern in life is to go to a place, burn all bridges, and then go to another place. And then they burn all bridges, they go to another place. Burn all bridges. Northport, she burnt every bridge. And then she came to Otter Creek. And then she posts at my sign on my property. Hearts on the mend. Our new neighbors. What the hell? You'll see all of this in the deposition. And once we can officially, even though we legally could share it right now and it wouldn't matter. But we're trying to respect the legal process even though it hasn't respected us, once we can officially share that almost seven, 
Well, probably when it's all condensed down. Well, if you take out all of her, I plead the fists and all of her leaving and just getting up and leaving and screaming at the child and at John. And then, uh, well, you're probably literally at about, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes worth of actual answers. Keep in mind, under oath, she's only watched three or four episodes of What the Hales. Just three or four. But now we have another text that says, I wish, oh, I could buy units like that. Hmm. So she's obviously watched way more than three or four. Someday, someday I'm going to get things right here, and John won't be here, and we'll do just that. Heck, I would love, this is not a joke. Heck, I would love to work for them. Look at the, now we see the real motive for coming to Otter Creek. We see all the real motives. I want to work for them, sorting and stuff. I wonder if they would ever hire me. I'm cheap. Well, we already know how cheap she is. She was dancing on a pole. So, I don't think that's an LOL. I think it's really a disgusting thing in life. As she claims to be an ordained minister. And she's also publicly posted that she has no regret and no remorse for the way she fed her family in the past. Now, there's, there's something we have to understand here. These are conflicting things that she's saying. I'm an ordained minister. I have no regret and no remorse, okay? So the aspect of being a Christian is literally saying, listen, I'm a mess and I have regret. I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me, God? Do you understand when she says, I have no regret, no remorse? And it's very clear what she did was wrong. Whether you believe it was wrong or not, we're taking the authority of God and his word to say that God says it's wrong. And if she says that she follows God and she's an ordained minister of God, but she has no regrets, obviously she can't be an ordained minister if she has no regrets, no sorrow, and she hasn't asked for forgiveness. Do you understand how this logic works, okay? God says wrong. She says, nope, not wrong. Therefore, she can't be an ordained minister. She and God don't agree. No matter what you think about it, no matter what I think about it, her and God don't agree on that, okay? So we agree that she is cheap. She's definitely cheap. And what she wants is to work for us. She wants to sort stuff. She wants to work for us. Her and her grandson. Now, hold a second. Yeah, we've got her grandson, which by the way, her grandson, she got a grandson, Landon, to actually message me to try and be a mole, okay? And um, I'm not going to share that because I actually blocked him, but I'll share a part of it. I, I will. I'll, I'll bring it up now and I'll share a part of it. So what I did, because it was a grandson, and he is of age, and so it's not really that big of an issue, but um, I just didn't feel like any, any you know, no... No grandkids need to be on a part of this. So so he he messages and says, hey, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge, huge fan. Can I help? Can I help? All right. So uh, I would love to talk what's going on with my grandma. She effed me over last month and hasn't talked to me since. I've seen some of your YouTube videos and I was like, holy it. And, um, and I said, uh, keep yourself safe from her and John, they are extremely unstable. And then I blocked him. So, and I went, you know what? I'm not even gonna allow him to share anything with me. And later he posted online that he was trying to be a mole, but he got blocked. He was trying to be a mole for his grandma, but he got blocked. Oops, didn't work. I thought um, there were no moles. And, and according to her, there are no moles, but she was trying to create some. And she wanted us to hire him. And she wanted us to hire her. I'm curious what the plan was for John in here. Was she, was she planning on us hiring John as well? Would, would we put him out the front of the street with a sign? And, you know, he's very good at making signs. Oh, very, yeah. very good. And, and screaming up and, and screaming at people that are going by. He's, he's incredible at that. Here we still have the illegal sign right here on the property. Here we go. Still have, still have the illegal sign. Keep in mind, she doesn't watch any episodes. She's only watched three or four. Except she wants to talk about what's going on at Half Mill Time to Grill and the giveaways. The giveaways. Uh, I wonder, now for those who don't 
understand where this conversation is going. We had a huge meet and greet. We uh, cut it off and because we only had so much space and parking and in the facility and everything that um, money-wise that we found, we gave away as gifts at Half Mill Time to Grill, including, including $500 uh, cash that George found in a CD case and including a two plus thousand dollar brand new watch and we just had a wonderful wonderful time. We had a ton of giveaways. And so ton of ton of giveaways gift cards cash coins the whole deal and so here she's talking about all these giveaways but remember she's only watched three or four three or four. I wonder if he'll let us get in the giveaways lol. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, he's found a couple coins I wouldn't mind having right there in the middle. He's found a couple coins I wouldn't mind having, LOL. He did give the child the leap pads. Only one of them work, but it's fine. I'm so happy with it. Now, you have to understand that constantly, she would watch a video and she would text me, can I have that? And she would watch a video and she would text me, can I have that? She would watch a video and text me, can I have that? I, I don't want to hear from this insane person, okay? But I did unblock her once the civil protection orders were in place because how are you going to enforce something that isn't actually coming through? So she's unblocked. She's broken the text, the actual texting portion of the civil protection order as well. So how am I going to know if she, if she broke the civil protection order if I have her blocked? And that way we know she actually broke the civil protection order because we knew she couldn't stop. And so uh, she would ask for constant stuff that we would find. As a matter of fact, um, there's some things right inside that we have right now. She was asking for that and this and that. And, and the only thing I ever gave her was for the child. And it was a leap pad, two leap pads, games, and things along those lines. And so for her to then claim, now she saw, she saw a video with coins. Remember, she saw a video with a safe with $15,000 in tool chests. All right, so that's two different videos. We got a leap pad video right there. And she's so happy with it. That is the only thing I ever, ever gave them. Didn't okay? she want a power wheel? She wanted a power wheel. She wanted mannequin. Do we still have that mannequin in there? In the corner? Uh, I don't remember. The point being, she would ask for impractical things that would never be used by her. It would just be in a heap of pile of garbage. And then, this is the best part right here. Actually, it's horrific. But you can read it right at the bottom. Yeah, that's what it says. My baby told me she hated me today. All right, you have to ask yourself the question. Number one, do any of her children actually like her? And the answer is no. As a matter of fact, one of her children are in groups constantly fighting with different individuals such as Marla Huge and uh, Wikipedia and Lizzie Wiggly and Wiggly Balls. And right now, she is standing up and she's saying, did you ever live through this garbage this woman put you through? If not, shut up. Do you understand there's not one child that has been with this woman that has ever said, yes, this is a good woman. So here's my question for those that want to send money, want to support Lynette, when John is the one that's responsible for doing that, right? I mean, they're together, 50-50 on the property. They should be supporting one another. She should be supporting him. He should be supporting her. They should be supporting a child. So here's my question to you. I want you to ask this. Really think about it, all right? Would you send your loved one? Would you send your child, Marla Hughes, would you send your grandkids over to that turd purgatory for one hour, let alone a day, a week? And we all know what the answer is. Marla Hughes hasn't even met these individuals face to face yet, let alone would she ever send a grandchild over there because they know the truth, her own children who refused to have any type of relationship with her. Well, she then went on to create a family alienation Facebook group, one of her very, very many. Her own children are in chat groups now telling you exactly what life was like with her. And you've got individuals like Marla Hughes. You've got Victoria Munsell. You've got, name me some others, George. I, you got all these fools. That's what they are. Literally trying to argue with the children who lived through this with her and thankfully survived. And they're telling you exactly what this person is like. 
And at the age of four, another one has already figured it out. Want even more proof? She watches more than three or four of our videos. January 23rd, 2023. Oh yeah. Oh, she loves to she loves to keep up on our lives. Man, I'm jealous. We have cold weather and Jimmy and Georgia. I'm it's not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's supposed to say Jeremy and George. So Jimmy and Georgia in Hawaii. That makes me crazy, LOL. Um, they get to go all the places that they've gone in the last month, and we're here sitting in the freezing cold. Boo-hoo to us, right? LOL. Boo-hoo to us. Okay, so for keeping track, she's watched a storage unit where we got a safe and toolboxes. She watched a storage unit with coins. She's watched a uh, storage unit with, you know, I, I can't even keep track, but oh, now we know. Bad. She watched us go to Hawaii. We were also in Las Vegas. We were also in California. Uh, is anybody is anybody past counting on two hands yet and how many videos she's watched? Is she under oath stated she's only watched three or four. You may be thinking, Jeremy, you didn't prove that she watched you in all those locations. All right, here you go. About to prove it to you. Here it is, her own words. These are her words, text from her. Well, we went to Ohio first. Oh, yeah. They may have had doctor's appointments. All right. That was videos in Ohio. But then they went from Universal Studios. I saw a video and then Las Vegas. And the last video was from Hawaii. She's only watched three or four. Right? Only watch three. Judge the Thomases, I've only watched three or four. I didn't stalk them. They're stalking me. They're making money off of me. How in the world are we somehow making money off of her? I would really like to know. As I have spent tens of thousands going on hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep them out of our lives. To keep them as far away as possible. There is no making money off of them when I'm spending tremendous amounts of money to keep them as far away as from us as possible. The genius goes on to say, I think they're going to be here for a month and then they're going to leave again. I really don't think they're going to end up keeping this property. She, she says that right in the middle there, not highlighted. I really don't think they're going to keep up, keep ending this property. May end up being too cold for them here. I'm even finding it too cold. I want to go back south. Oh, okay, wait, hold a second. I'm confused because she has stated that she's been watching this beautiful piece of property since 2018 and she's gonna move there to save her child and she's gonna open up this incredible turtle and tortoise rescue. And you mean to tell me that she actually didn't do research on temperatures beforehand? Knowing that tortoises need certain temperatures to actually stay alive? She, she states over and over again, she moved here to be closer to family and friends. And yet, then we see the truth in the text. I have no one. I'm alone. I can't make friends. I have no friends. It's all pathological lying. Something is just not adding up. Something's not adding up. So they get into Otter Creek. And then George and Jeremy may not stay, which, hey, we've had the same thoughts. But we are here to stay. Just because we've had the thoughts that we're not going to stay doesn't mean that we won't stay. We will be here. Doesn't mean we won't look for different ways to increase our security from freaks like them. But we are here to stay. And if anything, we're not selling the property. We'll gather up more property. And so all of a sudden, it's too cold. Uh-oh, it's too cold. Which, by the way, we have tons of texts as well about the whole aspect of electric getting shut off. They can't, they can't, they literally cannot pay for the electric to even keep the animals warm. The animals are dying and it goes on and on. Now, what does she want to do? She wants to go back south. She wants to, she wants to burn the bridge and wants to run again. But I can't afford it. It's already here. And then this person says, who knows? They probably aren't too worried about it. Uh, I gotta say, that's not something we were typically thinking about. Although, George, you, um... Well, life without a thyroid, what's her excuse? Um... I'm bundled up. Um... 
Stop trying to embarrass me. Yeah, it's 70 degrees today. 60. January 23rd, George and I are in Hawaii, and uh, Lynette sends this message. Does resident so-and-so uh, know anything about gas? It's not our heater on our camper that's messed up. It's where the gas hooks up the regulator. Whatever, something's wrong with that because... They weren't supposed to be shut our electric off, okay? You have to understand, there's animals in danger and the electric is being shut off because they're not paying the bills. They weren't supposed to be able to shut our electric off. Supposedly, Catholic Charities had helped us and was taking care of it, but they shut my electric off, what? Again, again. This is multiple times. Multiple times. And I have no heat because the propane isn't working. It's not the furnace, the electric, da-da-da-da. Why? Why would anybody in their right mind come up to an area of Florida knowing that you need heat for animals? Not to mention the child that they are housing illegally in a shed without the basic utilities. Not only that, they're illegally dumping gray water onto the ground with the shower, with the washer and dryer, with who knows what else. It's constant what they're doing over there. And they came up here to be closer to family on this precious, beautiful piece of property, but they can't even keep the electric on. Very next day, January 24th, you know what probably happened to some of the animals, right? Too cold, they die. All right, well, here it is. You see your name right up top. Lynette, here we go. Uh, I forwarded you a letter from my doctor to sign to get the electric company to turn my power back on until the agency helps helping us gathers all documents. It's needed to turn an electric back on. I forwarded you a letter from my doctor to sign to get the electric company to turn the power back on. John insists to run seven heaters instead of putting torts in the shed in totes and heating totes. And our bill is $900. You'll see right there. Electric, $900. I'm paying at a bare minimum, bare minimum, uh, $1,000 over at the schoolhouse a month. That's on the low months. I begged him, please, please do our way, my way, but he's a control freak. And my child and torts... She literally says torts. My torts pay for it. My torts pay for it. <laughs> okay. Literally, my child and my torts pay for it. I'm going to get T-Mobile Internet to run my printer as soon as I can so I won't have to ask people for help because of him. I'm embarrassed and I'm hurt. And I'm sure we probably... Here it is. I'm sure we probably lost torts last night. They killed the animals yet again i'm sure we probably lost torts last night they can't live in that cold keep in mind she's also told judge to thomas's he keeps calling children's services he keeps calling fish and wildlife okay so let's be very clear i've called d what do they call it here in florida dhs, DHS one time i'll take that back two times i called dhs one time for the child and then a second time I called for elder abuse because she continued to post that John was abusing her to the point of financially uh, rapping. She was a financial rapist or John was a financial rapist. So I called to report elder abuse as well. So I've called two times. Never called Fish and Wildlife, although I know who did. And uh, apparently somebody else here did recently and we're waiting for that video footage as well. Um, and uh, you, you, you think there's no reason? Remember, in court, there has to be good reason. And uh, do you need any bigger reason than all of this? Everything she's saying, the animals, the animals pay for it, the child pays for it. They're literally killing the animals. Let me read that again for you. I'm sure we probably lost torts last night. They can't live in that cold. They have no electric on right now. There is no heat for anybody or the animals. February 15th, after animals have passed away 
in the cold. She messages this resident out of Creek. Good morning. We've been here all night. He's got an infection in his right knee. That would be the crook. He's got more than an infection in his right knee. Keep in mind, these two met on a website for people who have infections. Uh, that had a replacement and several revisions, so they may keep him. When I get home, I need help with a tractor. You see it highlighted. Need help with a tractor. Apparently, I am the go-to tractor person for her. To get a dog house off of a truck trailer so I can use it to come back, pick him up, pick up our window with our door. So if there's any way, I'll ask Jeremy. Right down there, I'll ask Jeremy. All right. If you can make sense of any of this rambling, you're doing better than I am. I do know that she did text me, and which is the common. I mean, you literally get texts this long, and you just normally, 99% of the time, just ignore it. And she asked, hey, could you bring the tractor over? And this day, I had a light day, and I went, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'll help any of the residents any way I can, as long as they don't lie, they don't cheat, they don't steal. They're not dealing drugs on my property, things along those lines. I think you get it. Um, and so I get over there, and it was a garbage doghouse. Like, they, they got this problem. I'm guessing Facebook Marketplace, maybe Craigslist. It was a piece of garbage that needed to be burned, literally needed to be burned. It was complete and total garbage. And I take my tractor over across the street for nothing because I literally just picked it up off the trailer, and then she kept whining on and on. I need money. She went on to tell me, I only get $1,300 a month and my camper is cost me 1000 and the Jeep cost me this and John won't give me any money. And I'm literally, same as she did when George, when George is trying to get away. I'm like, I got to go. I got to go. I don't care to hear your sob story. And you realize this is what she's doing to people so that they give her money. Okay. She's not the one on the corner with the sign saying, I need help, you know, whatever. She just literally quarters you on the property. Hey, I need your tractor. Didn't need the tractor. Now I'm going to whine and cry like crazy until you give me something. And I literally go, I got to go and leave. And that's the way George and I, after that, we were like, never again. We're never going on that property again. The woman is so freaking insane. We're so tired of it. We're tired of the begging. We're tired of the constant interruptions. We're tired of all the text messages. It is insane, inappropriate. Something is definitely wrong. February 19th, 2023. It goes on, I just wanted to move here and start fresh without him, meaning John Crook, but his family threatened me and made me feel bad. Did she file an injunction on his family? I'm pretty sure there was no injunction filed on his family. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, and she goes on to say about John Crook. He's ruined everything again. I'm not normal. That, boy, she's got that right. Literally says, I'm not normal. Okay. Here's the thing. Why would John stay with her? I mean, I don't get it. Why in the world would John Crook stay with Lynette? Because his family threatened them both. Oh, so now they're both threatened. Did he run to the courthouse and file for an injunction? He should have. Okay, so nobody's run to any courthouse, filed for any injunction. Uh, she loves to expose him to all the local residents. Why would this man literally stay with this woman? Like, I, I don't get it. I can't comprehend it. She constantly tells everyone, everyone, that he's a runk and he's an abuser. Everyone she can, and a rug dealer. If she can, within the first 10 seconds she meets you, she has no problem spewing it to you so that you have, uh, she's trying to get you to sympathize with her and give her money is what it is. She's a victim. She needs your sympathy. She needs your money. It's all a ploy. It's despicable. And it is, it's insane that this man would ever stay with this woman. Like, he has to be so deranged to stay with this woman. Not to mention, he had another woman sending him letters for pills, right? Why not go stay with her? Like, literally, why would you stay? I don't get it. I don't get it. I, what is possessing this man to stay with this well, psychotic vice versa. woman? Why do they stay with each other? Who knows? All right. She says, I'm not normal. I'm off my own path. Uh, I'd give the shirt off my back. Yeah, right. No way should any of this ever be insinuated or interpreted as communication to 
this individual that I'm discussing or to other individuals to contact these individuals. That is not the case at all. This is sharing the news story and sharing the actual evidence and sharing and me giving commentary on it and asking rhetorical questions and hypothetical questions to the camera. That's it. Okay. So I would give the shirt off my back. Uh, I was a youth pastor of sorts for over 20 years. That's new. Oh my goodness. Was there a, you guys think I'm joking. I was a youth pastor of sorts for over 20 years. Not a joke. This is the same 20 years she was on the poll. She's ordained. Oh, I'm ordained. I'm a good person who's living in another person's hell. Oh, but she came here to get saved by what the hails. I just want to run for a seat. Now she's talking about running for a seat on city council again. This gets crazy. Mm -hmm. Have my 501c3. She doesn't even know how to run a 501c3. She's done so many illegal things, it's ridiculous, and she'll continue to do it. And eventually... The ducks will all fly away for some reason. And um, and eventually, uh, the IRS will catch up with her. Okay. And she goes on to say, no one will ever like me or be friends with me because I'm not upper class. I'm just me. There are upper class great people. There are middle class great people. There are lower class great people. There are all classes of exceptional people. And there's garbage people in all the classes as well. People, I I don't know. People think I'm upper class. Maybe people think I'm lower class. I literally wear the same clothes every day and try and help people. Until you try and steal from me, you lie to me, you pull out a firearm on me. Oh, and then and then they claim victim. Oh, defame you. Oh, defame me, claim victim. She goes on to say no one will ever like me. Nobody likes her because of her. It has nothing to do with class. It has everything to do with her. Okay? Uh, I'll just show everyone who I am here. And I'm not who everyone thinks I am. I thought 98% of the people in Otter Creek love her and John. But apparently nobody does. Nobody will be friends. I mean... What's real? What's real? I don't. I don't understand what's real. What's real? Is it the post on Facebook that's real, or is it the personalized text messages to a resident that's real? Is it her trying to put this facade out to what the Hales supporters so that they give more money, and then the real is in the text messages? That's pretty much what it amounts to. No one person could do this without a bit of help. I'm very thankful for any help I can get. And once it's clean and the baby and I can spend all day learning our ABCs and 123s. Why doesn't the baby, which isn't a baby at this point, know that information already? Can you even comprehend how developmentally behind this child is right now because of this woman? My life will be so much less crazy But it's going to take getting it all cleaned up first so we can relax and I can be a mom and my daughter can play. How is she going to handle that property with that, John, if his family didn't threaten her? That's what I don't understand. Well, she also, how do you you not understand that she's text that she's bored and lonely all day? She's obviously not handling any aspect of the property. She's not doing anything. She's literally spending all day on Facebook. Doing nothing, talking to people she has never met before in any realm in real life face to face. And if any of these individuals, including Marla Huge, ever met her and spent time with her face to face. Wait, maybe they would be besties. Because that woman is freaking psychotic too.